Hello Game Makers, this is Game Maker Rob and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use the draw GUI layer to draw your buttons rather than using an object for every button. I'll also show you how to take input from those buttons as well. So let's get started. Okay, so before we begin, I'm just going to show you what I've got already as usual. So I've got two sprites. Uh, one for the bottom middle of the screen and one for the middle left. Um, if you look at the sprite origin, I've just made it, um, I've made the bottom sensor one in the bottom sensor and the middle left button in the middle left. Just so it's easier for me to work out the coordinates, uh, the code I'm going to show you today will work regardless of where you set your sprite origins. And inside the room, we've got uh, OBJ create terrain that just generates some trees, uh, camera to move around, and OBJ GUI. This is what's going to be drawing our buttons. So inside our OBJ GUI in the create event, we want two variables. We want uh, view width equals uh, viewport. Sorry, view wport and zero. And view height equals view hport zero. So the reason we're going to be using the uh, port width and port height variables is the port is what the player is going to see on their display. Whereas the camera is the chunk of the room that we're going to be putting onto the, the, the display. Um, if you look at my port, the port is almost twice as large as the dis as the camera. And if we use the camera coordinates to draw the GUI, they'd be like the the left button might be okay, but the uh, one on the bottom would be in the middle somewhere. So this is why we want to use the port properties. So we've got our view width and view height. So now we're going to our draw GUI. We want to say uh, left button draw sprite SPR GUI zero one sub image zero. The X is going to be zero, and the Y is going to be view height divided by two, and the right the bottom button sorry. is draw sprite SBR GUI double zero and we want it to be in the middle so it's going to be view width divided by two and then view height for the Y. So let's run the game. Is there an error? Four. Oh sorry we forgot the sub image. So let's run the game and we should see some buttons following our camera around. So now we've got two buttons following this the display. Uh, they don't do much uh, but at least they're working. Okay so for the next stage we're going to make a few changes. We're going to say left x equals zero, left y equals view height divided by two and then change this to left X and this to left Y. We're going to do the same for here. Bottom X equals view width divided by two. Just put it into brackets. Um, bottom Y equals view height. Because now we're going to say x1 equals left 
x minus sprite get x offset spr GUI 01 y1 equals left y minus sprite get y offset spr GUI 01 Incidentally, um, it's this bit of code that will allow you to use this uh, for any any kind of sprite you have, regardless of uh, the size of it and regardless of where you have uh, the sprite centered. Um, because I'm just going to load a quick diagram to show you guys uh, what uh, the sprite X offset and Y offset will, will give you give us. And then all we're going to do is add the width and height of the sprite to our first coordinates. So x2 equals x1 plus sprite get width sbr GUI 01. And the same for y2. y2 equals y1 plus sprite get height. And just copy and paste and just change the sprite. That's all we need to change because everything else, oh, and obviously <laughs> bottom X and bottom Y. All right. So now we've got that. Um, we're going to be checking where the mouse X and Y is and we're going to do that in step event. You should probably try and do as much as you can in the step event, um, including collision checks. But for this example, I'm going to be doing the collision check inside the draw GUI event. And there's, believe it or not, there's multiple, uh, there's multiple functions for getting the mouse X and mouse Y and they all kind of return different coordinates. Uh, there's mouse X, uh, there's window, uh, mouse get X and display mouse get X. They're all useful for different things. Um, in this particular example, we want window mouse get X. So we're going to say mouse x equals window mouse get x and mouse y equals window mouse get y and this is going to return the coordinates uh, in the window um, much like uh, using a view it, it doesn't return the room coordinates it returns the, the view coordinates which is exactly what we want so now we've got that we can say if mouse x is greater than or equal to x1 and mouse x is less than or equal to x2 and mouse y is greater than or equal to y1 and mouse y is less than or equal to y2 So what this is going to do is we're checking if the mouse is within our uh, bounding box, which is the size of the sprite in a rectangle. If it is, we're going to draw, we're going to set the color to green and we're going to draw a rectangle. Let's run the game. Okay, so no matter where we're moving the view, if the mouse is on top of one of our buttons it lights up and let, lets us know that it's you know it's working properly the collision detection is working properly and if you were to click nothing will happen but we can code that now so you can already tell there's a lot more coding involved for uh, this kind of system 
when than compared to um, using an object for every button. But if you're using objects for buttons, and say for example you clicked one button and it loads three more, and you click them, it loads you know five more. Keeping track of of when check when you're supposed to be checking for all these different instances can get complicated. We're going to be using the single object to draw everything on the GUI. So the way to display different um, different buttons and different displays is by using states. So for example, we're going to set the states to main or main menu. And what we're going to do is in this one we're going to say uh, if mouse check button pressed MB left then state equals left button pressed or left GUI button pressed. Then in the step event we'll say if keyboard check button keyboard check press sorry uh, VK escape hello kitty cat oh then State equals main menu inside draw GUI. We're going to say draw text and we'll just show it in the center. So we'll say uh, view width divided by two. View height divided by two, and then string. Or we can just put state actually. So let's run the game. So right now the state is main main menu. If we move the mouse and click on the left one, it'll change to left. GUI button pressed. <laughs> it's hard to see because it's still being color green. Um, and if we click again, it'll say bottom. GUI pressed. If we press escape, it changes to main menu. There we go. Let's try that one more time, but with a different color. Draw. Set. Color. See black. So click on the left one, right one, press escape. And if we then say change the states to if state equal main menu. We now run the game. You'll start to get the idea. So I'll click on the left one and the buttons disappear. You press escape and you come back. So you'd use that to display where, wherever you want it to or to have whatever effects you want it to happen. So there you go. I shall catch you next time. Goodbye for now.